What's up, Nightwalkers? Here are my hands. I've got the TNVC and PBMD. If you're not familiar, TNVC stands for Tactical Night Vision Company, and the abbreviation NPBMD stands for Non-Powered Bridge Mount Dovetail. Now, I was lucky enough to buy one of these before they released them, and I've been using it for about a week now every night, and it's by far now my favorite uh, dual mount for PVS-14s. And so what the NPBMD allows you to do, obviously, is dual mount PVS-14s. And the unique feature to this thing, you know, besides having the arms, like it articulates, you know, side to side, like, like a BMVD does, uh, you know, PVS-31, PVS-15, etc. cetera. Uh, but these locating rings, uh, this allows for a much better image alignment. And so by that, I mean the ring slides over the objective lock ring onto the PVS-14 and the camera thread screw, you know, secures the device itself, you know, to the mount. But these locating rings, what they do, which is exceptional, is they keep the PVS-14 straight. And, uh, you know, some of the other dual mounts out there, like the D14 I use, you know, it has only one arm that secures the 14 to the housing or the 14 to the bridge mount. Um, and that allows the, the device occasionally to rotate and kind of angle itself, you know, left to right, uh, which can be kind of annoying because when they get out of position, you have to re-loosen them, um, align them back up straight, and then re-tighten them down. Uh, whereas with this one, it's going to line them up perfectly even with your eyes as soon as you as soon as you slide them on there, and so that's a really nice feature. It's extremely lightweight. You know, the NPBMD by itself weighed three ounces on my scale, and that was even after I added these uh, shock cord pieces. And these are just so I can hook up my uh, helmet bungees to it to pull tension on them to minimize wobble. Uh, you know, but it's very lightweight. It's made of Delrin and 6061 aluminum. You know, and anything you could do to minimize um, additional weight whenever you're running dual PVS-14s is exactly what you want to do. One thing TNVC did that's great is they made these screws captive, so you don't have to worry about losing them. So let me go ahead and get this other 14 mounted up here, and I'll show you how it looks once it's on the helmet. So here's how they look on the helmet and the rotation feature right here. And like I was talking about, once you stow them up on the helmet, you know, they stay up nice and flat, and this just keeps the balance better. It keeps you from smacking them on something. Let me show you how these look from the side. And as you can see, they lay nice and flat down on the helmet. There's three things that have made this my new favorite dual mount. The locating rings, the lightness of it, and the fact that there is no QD feature to it. The D14 mount, you know, I do like that one if I'm doing videos or photos, because I can just remove a PVS-14 and hook it up to a camera or an, or an iPhone, you know, to do that. Uh, but if I'm actually just using my devices, you know, this thing's light. It keeps the image correct with the locating rings and no QD feature to it. I don't have to worry about dropping a PVS-14 out on the ground and potentially damaging it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want more information on the NPBMD, go to TNVC's website. It's TNVC.com. And thanks for watching.